Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make our test dummy that we've got take damage when our player uses his projectile ability. Now this projectile ability was all set up in the last video so if you haven't seen it already make sure you do go ahead and check it out, it's really cool and you can see that our player spawns this awesome projectile which just sort of has this forward motion when we use our ability. So what I'm going to be going over in today's this video is pretty much taking the health system that we have for our combat tech test dummy at the moment and then pretty much each time that it receives a hit from this projectile it's going to take away some of that health of the AI and then once the health gets down to zero we are simply going to tell it to destroy the actor so we're pretty much going to make this you know this little test dummy that we've got explode and then just disappear and it's going to be as simple as that and we've also got some really cool stuff lined up for the next few videos as well so for for example when he does get hit we are going to have like a little UI pop up that sort of tells the player how much damage they've just dealt which is really cool there's lots and lots of awesome stuff that we've got lined up um, but without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it so what I'm going to do then before I can go any further is I want to make sure that my magic projectile actually has collision so the way that I'm going to be doing this is I'm essentially going to be adding in a sphere collision to my projectile that I've got at the moment because at the moment our projectile is essentially just a particle system with the projectile movement um, you know component to make it move forwards and that's about it and as far as I'm aware you can't really overlap events and stuff like that with um, particle systems so there's no way that we can begin overlap and tell when the player or not the player but the AI actually receives an input from the projectile. So I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds for this to load up. And then like I just said here, all you can see we've got at the moment is the particle system and also the projectile movement. So what I'm going to do is in my components tab at the top left hand corner, I'm going to go all the way up to the top here and I am simply going to add a sphere collision just type it in, select it from the little drop down, and then just drop it in there. Now, we are going to have to scale this sphere collision just to make sure it covers the whole sort of projectile that we've got here. Now, you guys can sort of scale this based on your needs. So, if this isn't, um, you know, always colliding with the AI when you want it to, you can just make it bigger. Um, or if you want it to be a bit more precise, you just make it smaller. Um, but for now, I'm just going to make it a little bit big bigger so that it's a bit more, you know, there's a higher chance of it essentially hitting the AI. So now we've done this, we don't need to worry about any of the rest of the stuff. All of the events are going to be all good. So as long as it's set to over overlap all dynamic, we are pretty much all good there. So once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and close this and we are going to open up our simple AI character and you can see straight away we've got this little event actor begin overlap node what we're going to do is pretty much just cast to the projectile that we just created and that was just called magic projectile and then pretty much whenever it hits this magic projectile now it's going to do whatever sequence events you of events that you hook up to this so just for testing purposes for now I'm going to tell it to print string and the string is just going to be set to hit so that we know that it's actually hit this actor so go ahead and compile this and then once that's done we are simply going to close this simple AI press play jump into the scene and we're going to get a bit of a distance and we're going to hit it. So press 2 to shoot the projectile and you can see in the top left hand corner it's proceeded to press, uh, you know, it's just printed that string for hit. So we can see our collision and all of that good stuff is all working. So what we need to do now then is when it does hit we need to tell it to destroy the projectile because it's, you know, just exploding. And then we also need to tell it to take away some of the health and most importantly check to see if the health of the AI has gone below zero and if it has destroy the AI as well. So let's go into that, open up your simple AI again and then from here I'm going to leave my print string there for now and then what I'm going to do is simply first things first create like a you know like a hit effect for this, an impact effect and the way that I'm going to do this is just spawn emitter at location and then the location that I'm going to be, uh, sorry, and the emitter that I'm going to use is simply going to be an impact effect. There's loads and loads of different effects that you've got inside of here. 
Um, so for now I'm just going to use the explosion effect and you guys can just choose one of those later on. Um, so the one that I'm actually going to use is simply just going to be called explosion and that's just going to be the default one over here. Uh, so I'm just going to drop that in there. Now we need to set the location but if we set the location of this just to be simple AI actor it's going to be tinted. So what I want to do is actually get the location of the magic projectile. So drag out as magic projectile, type in get actor location. And then with this, just hook this up to the return value uh, to the location, just like that. And now, hopefully, when we do hit this, if we go over here, get some distance, press number two, you can see it's exploding on impact, which is pretty cool. However, the issue is at the moment, our projectile is going to keep going straight through the character. So what we want to do is simply just destroy the actor. So drag this out, type in destroy actor, and then the target is going to be the magic projectile that we've created um, from spawning in this stuff. So compile this now, press play, let's try it again, and hopefully if we press 2 and we hit it, you can see it disappears as soon as it hits the AI and that's all good. So now all we need to do then is the easy bit and that's just taking away some of the AI's health and then running the check to see if it's gone below zero. So what I'm going to do just before the destroy actor stuff, now there's a good reason why I'm putting this at the end and that's simply because I want to make sure 100% all of my script here is being run. So it's being, you know, it's not going to cancel it by destroying the actor. So what I'm going to do is spawn emitter at location. I'm simply going to set health and what I'm going to be doing is simply float minus float because what we want to do is pretty much get the original value for health and then just take away a little bit of health that, you know, just to compensate for the damage taken by the projectile. And the amount that I'm going to use for now is 0 0.25. And then with this, for the return value for this health calculation, I'm going to run a branch. So I'm just going to drag this out and type in branch. And what I'm doing now is simply just checking to see whether or not the float has gone below or, you know, equal to zero. And if it has gone below zero or equal to zero, we're going to tell it to destroy the player. So what I'm going to do is get the return value for the health there. That's the health. And then just leave this to zero. And then if it has gone below zero, we are going to tell it to destroy the actor for the AI as well. Now, what we do want is the destroy actor for this to be here either way. So I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to duplicate it and hook this up to both of these. And then I'm going to make sure my target is also set over here as well. But for the top one, for when it has gone below zero, what I'm going to do is simply tell it to destroy actor. And this time the target is going to be self and that is going to be the simple AI. So let's see if we can test this. Make sure my default value for health is one. Now, if you hit it four times, it should just disappear. So let's go ahead and show you that. So one, two, three, and one more time, four. And you can see it's now disappeared. Our AI is essentially taking it some damage and you can really see it all come into life. You guys can play around with some of the variables for the health. Um, one thing that I do want to uh, do before I sort of end the video is mention that if you want to, you can make your projectile damage variable by promoting this to a variable or casting to the character, something we'll do later on in the series. Um, we're gonna have like a talent tree, a skill system where you can increase the projectile damage and loads of cool stuff. Um, there's so, so many options for cool things that we can do. Um, you know, we've got animations for impact effects for the AI, um, there's loads, but I'm gonna stop rambling on now. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.